Hello guys and gals, welcome to a new tutorial. In this video we're going to be covering a Resident Evil style camera system. This was a request that was made a short while ago. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to set up a very small system that allows us to plug different cameras into a collision box and then it will change where the player is being viewed from. So if we quickly press play here you can see the example. If I head over here we're going to get our camera locked up top here. Into the next box we've got a new camera. And this will keep changing when we enter a new box. Something that you're going to notice is new in this video because it's a new year and I'm trying out some new stuff is a little bit of background music. Now, if you find this too distracting or it's a little bit too loud, please let me know. Um, obviously, I'm trying some new things out because I want to take the channel into some new directions and experiment a little bit. Try and make this a little bit more fun for myself and a little bit more enjoyable for you guys. So please, if you don't like that, tell me. Okay, so let's get uh, let's begin on this. We're going to delete these cams, the blueprints rather, and we're going to delete the cameras as well. So the system we have to set up is actually quite simple. Let's right click, create a blueprint class, actor, we'll call this resicam underscore bp. Open this guy up, now what we're going to do is add, an, uh, add a component, box collision, and we're just going to leave him right there. Doesn't matter where he's sitting, doesn't matter how big he is, because we're going to change this when we're actually using him in game. We'll head over to the event graph and we will delete everything that's already in there. We don't need none of that. Now, on the left hand side, under components, right click our box, go to add event, and then add on component begin overlap. Click that guy down, and we're going to get this little guy here. This is what we're going to need to activate everything. So, from the other actor pin, we're going to drag and then say, cast to and then find your person your, your character mine's obviously the third person character so I'm gonna search for third person character if you've got it named something else search for that what we'll do after this however is we're going to set view target Oop, helps if I can spell it there we are and now you'll notice that I'm not getting very many options here the reason is because context sensitive is turned on we need to turn that off and what we'll find is set view target with blend under game player click this guy now, what we need to do is we need to get a target for this. Well, we need to get player controller because we want this to affect the actual player. Plug this into the target. And after the new view target, we need a camera. This has to be a camera actor. It has to be an actor reference. We can't add a component here because the camera in here is not going to be an actor itself because the blueprint as a whole is an actor. So what we're going to do is under variable, click to add a variable. Under variable type, we're going to search for camera actor. And then we're going to create an object reference in there. We're going to call this our cam ref. Cam underscore ref. We're going to drag him out and just drop him into the new view target. As so. And then, <clears throat> excuse me, on the left hand side here, we've got the cam ref. Little eyeball. Tick this to make it an exposed variable, meaning it can be found by multiple things in the engine. Compile and close that down. What we'll now do is drag one of these guys into our level. And over here into the, on the details where we've got this selected, just scroll down a little bit, pick the box, and scroll the box out. Scroll the box out? Scale the box out. We need this box to be big enough for our guy. Obviously it's going to represent an area of our game. Let's move him over a little bit. There we are. And now what we're going to do is go back up to select the whole blueprint. Hold Alt and drag to create a new box. Now, if we press play and we walk into these, you can see that uh -oh, things break because we don't actually have uh, a camera to go to. That's one intimate shot there. Sorry, unreal guy. There we go. Go back out. Now the reason this is happening is because here under our camera if we've got none, so what we need to do is create a camera. You can do so by going to the modes and then searching for camera. Drag a camera out, place it into a position that you feel is relatively spooky for your Resident Evil style game. Now we're talking old Resident, uh, old Resident Evil, we're not talking the new ones. I actually, like, unpopular opinion here because I know everybody loves them, um, but I hated Resident Evil after Resident Evil 4. I preferred Resident Evil when it was all walking around, finding 
get like keys, solving puzzles and stuff. And then when it became just a uh, a hunt for ammo and just a a shooter on rails, it became really boring. I know they changed it with number seven. I haven't played seven yet. I need to get around to that. So we'll give this one just a slightly different angle. Oh, spooky. It's a little bit off-center, but who cares? Now what we're going to do is select one of our blueprints. And on the camera, if we drop the list down, you can see we can see our cameras. But if you've got a lot of cameras, you're not going to want to search for all these. So what we can do is use the little eyedropper here. Click the eyedropper, click the camera, and now that camera is assigned. Select our second blueprint, eyedropper, second camera. And now if we press play, if we walk into one of these boxes, our camera will get reassigned. Like so. Now the reason I've done these inside their own blueprints rather than in the level blueprint is because this way we're not having to call multiple different references to different boxes. If we did it up inside the uh, the level blueprint, we'd need to get a reference to every single box that we needed to use and a reference to every camera we need to use. In this case, we just need multiple cameras and we just need to plug them in. Simple stuff. So. That's how we can quickly create some Resident Evil style cameras. I say classic Resident Evil style cameras. Um, but yeah, there we go. Uh, I hope you guys find that useful. I hope that some of you are going to be able to use it. Some of you are going to recreate this and make some cool stuff with it. Uh, that's all for this video. See you guys next time.